Hey, it's time for voiceover body shop, and we got a why well, calling it a double header tonight, George, because we've got two guests actually, because we have an interview with our good friend J. Michael Collins coming up mm -hmm. first, and then for the rest of the show, we're going to do a session with our good friend Mark Cashman talking about how to take direction. Excellent. I think this is going to help a lot of people. All right. It is one of the hardest things to do as an actor is to actually take what's being given to you and turning it around. So, right. And we could it's yeah. be really helpful because we have to self-direct most of the time in voiceover, but it's good to learn from a good director. And that's what we're going to do with Mark Cashman. All sorts of great stuff coming up on voiceover body shop right this second. From the outer reaches, they came. Bearing the knowledge of what it takes to properly record your voiceover audio. And together, from the center of the VO universe, they bring it to you now. George Widom, the engineer to the VO stars, a Virginia Tech grad with the skills to build, set up, and maintain the professional VO studios of the biggest names in VO today. And you, Dan Leonard, the voiceover home studio master. A professional voice talent with the knowledge and experience to help you create a professional sounding home VO studio. And each week they allow you into their world, bringing you talks with the biggest names in the voiceover world today, letting you ask your questions and giving you the latest information to make the most of your voiceover business. Welcome to VoiceOver Body Shop. VoiceOver Body Shop is brought to you by VoiceOverEssentials.com, home of Harlan Hogan Signature Products. Source Elements, remote studio connections for everyone. VoiceActorWebsites.com, where your VO website isn't a pain in the butt. VOHeroes.com, become a hero to your clients with award-winning voiceover training. JMC Demos, when quality matters. And VoiceOver Extra, your daily resource for VO success. And now, live to drive. From their super secret clubhouse and studio in Sherman Oaks, California, here are the guys. Hey there, I'm Dan Leonard. And I'm George Whittem. And this is VoiceOver. Body Shop. Or VO. BS. Well, I, I don't know about you, George. I think somebody has actually literally taken Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday off of the calendar. Because it's Friday, it's Saturday, it's Sunday, it's Monday, and then suddenly it's Friday again. What? Where, where did those other days go? It's true. I look at my calendar for the week, and I'm like, everything's already full already. I know. It's uh, it's yeah. We're we're both holding a pretty thick schedule, and grateful to have that position to be able to work that much right now. Absolutely. Uh, but it is it is intense. When I'm booking clients in August right now, it's kind of makes my mind blow. I mean, we're only five days from August. But still, it's like, what? <laughs> what, the, what is going on? It was yeah. just New Year's. <laughs> Any, <laughs> right. Anyway. All righty. Well, we've got a great show for you tonight because uh, a little later on, Mark Cashman will be here. And we're going to run through some scripts and talk about how you take direction. But there's a big conference coming up in August. And uh, our good friend J. Michael Collins is running the whole thing. So uh, because he's in Europe... This morning, you know, before I'm like, you know, having a couple cup of coffee, uh, we had a chance to sit down and talk with uh, with JMC. So here it is right here. And it's time to talk to our guest for this section of the show. J. Michael Collins joining us all the way from Europe. How you doing? Hi, I'm hanging in there, man. How are you doing? We're doing the best we can with what we got. Amen. So uh, anyway. Sounds like you've been a very, very busy person in the last uh, six to seven months. It's been um, an interesting ride. And, you know, I, I, uh, I think some people have heard me say this already, but I had that gut check in March, I think all of us had when, for me, it was when the sports leagues shut down. And I turned to Anna and I said, just the first time in my 25 year career that I don't feel like I can see the chessboard and I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, and, um, had a little pity party panic attack over the weekend, too much vodka, and came back Monday and decided to grab the bull by the horns and, and make the best of whatever would come. And um, been surprised that uh, at least the areas that I tend to play in have been pretty steady uh, and even seeing a bit of growth in certain fields. So um, 
I know not everybody's uh, had the same. Um, we've been blessed and uh, want to continue to try and help people find their path to as much prosperity as possible in a really challenging time. Yeah. Lots of demos going out there right now, aren't there? Well, we're doing a fair number. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, it's always a balance of uh, trying to make sure we only take on the people who, who are ready. Uh, but uh, the demand is um, kind of silly at the moment. We've got about a four to six week wait. So it's like, okay. Um, not going to complain. So uh, you're involved with, with the, one, uh, the One Voice Virtual Conference. Uh, now, this started in the UK, didn't it? Right. It did. And it started, of course, as a live conference for the first two years. And then this year, because of COVID, we uh, moved it online for the UK version. Uh, and um, based on, on that, which was, uh, I, I think, you know, scratched a, a, a really relevant itch at that time because other conferences had been forced to cancel due to the virus uh, and uh, everybody was still sort of in the middle of lockdown and um, there was just the need for the community to reconnect. Uh, it was beyond what we expected in terms of attendance and, and success and then very well received. And so um, after sitting there and taking a look at it, because the content was so UK focused, uh, we decided, you know what, let's, let's do one of these for the US market. And um, I put together a, a wish list of presenters, uh, which I fully expected at least 20 or 30% of them to say, nah, not going to do it. Sorry, not available. And we actually got everybody we asked to come on board. So um, we're thrilled to be offering this to uh, to the U.S. market. I think it's uh, uh, in terms of the lineup that we've got. Um, you know, I, I know I can be prone to hyperbole sometimes, but uh, I, I really don't. I, I don't think I've ever seen a lineup that that is this um, deep, interesting, and and diverse uh, across both genres and perspectives um, of presenters. And uh, I, I just think it's going to be a tremendous value. And of course, the people who are uh, attending this conference will also get access to the three previous UK conferences at no extra charge as well. So we think it's a pretty good deal. That's great. So what's your involvement with this? So as a lot of people know, I'm the U.S. representative uh, and part owner for Gravy for the Brain. Uh, and Gravy for the Brain is the organization that runs the U.K. conference and the now the U.S. conference. Uh, and so I had more or less the lead role in putting the lineup together uh, and, uh, and, and assembling the speakers. And of course, I'll be presenting as well. I've got a couple of breakout sessions uh, on international markets in VO and also uh, how to compete in a, a changing market. I'll ho be hosting a few panels as well, the agents panel and the online casting panel, uh, and uh, will otherwise be visible in the various uh, social rooms and um, chat rooms that we'll have going on, which is a cool little feature that we've got where we have these socials going on that we shuffle groups of five, six, seven, eight, ten people uh, in a room and you get to meet and mingle with, uh, it's totally random. We don't, it's, it's, it's an algorithm that just kind of drops you seven or eight or ten people in a, in a particular social room and it changes every 15 minutes or so. So it's a cool way to meet folks and get to know each other and start conversations and I'll be pinging around those as well. Among among other things over the weekend, yeah. Now our virtual conferences are all the rage this year. So since <laughs> there's not much choice in that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's not a whole lot of choice. So, uh, I mean, how is this going to work? I mean, I've, I mean, I remember you and I were, you know, worked on on voiceover virtual many years ago, right? Many many right. years ago. I'm sure the technology has improved greatly since then. Well, I think John did a great job with what he had putting that together uh, and being the, the first one out there. What we have is a platform called Reattendance, um, which is a proprietary uh, online conference hosting platform uh, owned by the ownership of Gravy for the Brain. And uh, I have to say, I when when um, when they went virtual on the UK one, uh, my first reaction was, okay. Uh, you know, it, uh, what is this going to be? It's a virtual conference. Okay, I'll play because I'm part of the team. Um, but I didn't expect much from it, to be honest with you, because they, the virtual attempts have been clunky before, and I, I expected very much the same. And it's not without the occasional glitch, but I was shocked 
as to how smooth the process and the experience was. And, um, you know, for those of you who don't know you and, and Peter over in the UK, um, they're smart guys and, uh, and they understand tech, um, at a level that I don't, um, you probably do, Dan, but I don't. And, uh, you know, and they, um, they managed to pull this thing off in a way that was so seamless that, uh, it, it really blew my mind and it, it kind of changed my perspective on not just being a part of virtual conferences, but sponsoring them and, and, you know, and, and really being on board with the idea. I hope we go back to live and in person in 2021. I hope as soon as there's a vaccine that, that we never see a virtual conference again. Um, because I like people, I'm a big old golden retriever and I, I just want to hug folks, but I, I, uh, same with me because I mean, <laughs> the first day of any conference is always the best because it's, how are you? And there's lots right. of, it goes so, so it's the social element, but you know, we're, we're trying to simulate that as much as possible in, in the current circumstance. And I think again, it's just an, it's an outlet that helps people do two things. Number one is it does scratch that itch to socialize with your fellow VOs and to be a part of the community, which we, we feel more isolated now than we ever have uh, in an industry that had has become more and more connected over the past few years in particular. And it's also an educational opportunity at a time where the market is shifting faster than ever, where some genres are red hot and others that were great are not. Uh, and a lot of that is tied to the, the circumstances that we're living in. And what we've done is assembled a group of people that I think are going to give uh, the attendees the knowledge that they need to navigate these really genuine uncharted waters and uh, hopefully continue to prosper. How is this going to work? I mean, you're saying it's got, you've got this great platform, but how does it actually, not the nuts and bolts of how it works, but how's it going to work for, you know, how do you navigate it? At the end of the day, it, it's it's much like a regular in-person conference would be in the sense that we've got multiple sessions going on at the same time in basically multiple virtual rooms. So attendees will have the option to move from session to session uh, if they so choose. Uh, they'll have the option to select which ones they want to go to. We have some workshops like many of the conferences do that are uh, capped at a certain number. Some of those are free and some of those are uh, paid workshops which are three hours long with one presenter on a particular subject that are capped to a, a much smaller group of people. But for the general sessions, you can kind of flit in and out as you as you please. Uh, and um, and it's really just like being in a classic conference where you can, you can go to this session at this time or if you know you get in 20 minutes and you want to go see something else you can check out and go see that uh it, it works essentially the same way it's just it's just virtual and no one will see you leave the room no one will see you leave the room that's right or, or no one will <laughs> you won't be that guy yeah who's uh, who's gonna be there any any top names that you people might oh write? i i i don't know um you know you might have heard of tara strong uh who's pretty much the uh, queen of all things animation and uh, video games. Uh, Pat Brady, uh, animation uh, agent for CESD. We, we wanted to really, um, and I think this is important, we wanted to really have a focus on, with the exception of certain staples, I mean, we've got Joe Cipriano, we've got Dave Walsh, we've got Celia Siegel, we've got uh, a handful of those people that in Anganguza that we, we just have to bring them because they're amazing and they offer value every time they come. But we wanted to try and bring you as many people as possible who you just don't see on the circuit all that often. And so Tara is one of our keynotes. Portia Scott from Coast to Coast Talent, the head of voiceover, is our other keynote from the agency side. Uh, so we, what we wanted to do is one keynote from the performance side, one keynote from the agency side. Uh, so you can see it from both ends. Um, again, the agent lineup for this one, Porsche is amazing. Pat Brady from CESD, Trish Ryan from DPN, Lisa Risto from Impressive Talent. Uh, you know, it's, it's a tremendous group of people sharing knowledge about how to gain representation, how to navigate uncharted waters. We've got Christian Lands. Christian has never shown up to to other, anything other than Sova's. Um, he doesn't show up to conferences. He's the voice of Puss in Boots. He's the voice of one of the leads in Atlanta of Avalor. He's the host of uh, the, the live announce voice for various uh, Emmy uh, ceremonies. I mean, the guy is an absolute legend, uh, and we were able to coax him out very carefully uh, to, <laughs> to come to this one. Um, so we're thrilled to have Christian there. Uh, Joe Zija, uh, you know Joe. Joe's a guy who, uh, again, he just doesn't come to a whole lot of stuff, but he's one of the leading video game uh, and does quite a lot of animation work voices out there as well. Um, we've got uh, 
Juana Plata, one of the top uh, um, Latinx talents in the business uh, coming to present. Melissa Disney, Everett Oliver, Eliza Jane Schneider, Carrie Olson, uh, Karen Gilfrey, Christina Malizia. I could go on and on, as, as you well know. getting one <laughs> somebody. Oh, there's there. Well, there's, there's this guy with this mustache too, and he's he's um, uh, you know, he, he's one of those ringers that you know we we try and bring in from time to time to time just to just to kind of keep him happy and to keep you know it's, it's like feeding the the lion in the cage. But no, no, Dan, we are we're thrilled to have you join us to be our tech wizard and to talk about uh, no BS uh, audio setup for home studios because you are you know when I refer people for for tech solutions, you're always top of the list, and there's a reason. for I appreciate that. And it's always fun talking to the people you work with. So how do you sign up for this conference? Onevoiceconference.com. That simple. Uh, you can see everything that's going on there and you can purchase uh, either a weekend pass. You can purchase day passes uh, for the Friday and Saturday, which are two core days. So you can also purchase the individual workshops. Uh, the individual workshops that are paid, you do not have to be a conference attendee to sign up for those. They are almost sold out. I think Scott Bricks is, if not sold out, it's already pretty close. Uh, and we've got, I think between the eight or nine different workshops, we've got 10 total spots remaining. So um, get on that if you're interested. Uh, but uh, onevoiceconference.com is the place to go. Well, JMC, it is always a pleasure to see you. Even though you are far, far away, come visit us. <laughs> come back. In a land far, far away. Yeah, back, back, to, back to the, con the continent. I, 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 I miss you guys. I mean, it's been... I, I have you, you. You know how much I usually fly. I haven't flapped my wings since January. I'm still starting to get a little flabbier than usual. So I, I need to. Ah, <laughs> farmers in Maine are like, what? what there's, 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 there's a, it's a whole depression in that industry just because I'm not over there. So. <laughs> okay, Mike. Thanks for joining us on Voiceover Body Shop and telling us about this. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Dan. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Well. Always enjoyable to talk to Mike because he's got interesting stuff to say. And uh, but this one voice over one voice conference should be very interesting. I get to present, you know, George. We don't get to present at all of them together. I mean, sometimes you do one, sometimes I do one. I know sometimes as well. We get one, then we got the one. We yeah. don't need both. We got one. You That's know, right. That kind of thing. Right. <laughs> I, but I, I can't wait till we can all get together again for yeah. real, which I think is is really important. But in the meantime. We got to do it virtually, uh, and as we continue to do this show virtually, uh, we've got a great guest coming up. Mark Cashman will be with us in just a couple of minutes, and we're going to go through directing copy and how to take directions. So stay tuned for that coming up right now on Voiceover Body Shop. After this, you are watching VOBS TV. I don't know why it's crazy what they do here. I think I'm going to go somewhere else and have a cheese sandwich. Well, hello there. I bet you weren't expecting to hear some big-voiced announcer guy on your new orientation training for Snapchat, were you? Stick around. You don't want to miss this. Look what you made me do. Power 103.9. At Target, we want you to come as you are. Be comfortable. Uh, okay, maybe not bathrobe comfortable. Pants for the customer in aisle four, please. Nuevo México necesita un cambio. La representante Michelle Lujan Grisham ha luchado por nuestro estado en la Cámara de Representantes. Watch anywhere, anytime on an unlimited number of devices. Sign in with your Netflix account to watch instantly at Netflix.com. The ice cream maker is a big risk that can have huge rewards until you forget to turn it on. Well, that's it, guys. Time is up. Hey, it's JMC. Thanks for watching the voiceover body shop. If you're demo ready or looking to get there, check out jmcdemos.com and see a sample of our work. Now let's get back to Dan and George and this week's tech wisdom. What question do we get most often? Far and away, it's how do I even get started in voiceover? And we have a great answer to that question. Take the voheroes.com free getting started in VO course. You heard right. It's free. And it's available online 24-7 at gettingstartedinvo.com. That's gettingstartedinvo.com. If you've been watching VOBS and thinking that you need to get in gear and start your own voiceover career, this is the course you should start with. You'll learn about the vocal skills you need, the storytelling skills you need, the equipment you need, the business skills you need, and the mindset you need to have 
all in one single comprehensive online course taught by VO Heroes David H. Lawrence the 17th. This course won the Backstage Reader's Choice Award four years in a row. And again, there's no charge. It's absolutely free. Want to take it? Of course you do. Getting started in VO.com. That's getting started in VO.com. So our good friend Harlan Hogan is on vacation in Maine. Isn't it gorgeous? Anyway, he wanted me to tell you that he hasn't missed doing any work while he's on vacation, hanging out on somebody's yacht, because he's got his Porta Booth with him. This is a great unit. It makes it easy for you to travel on the road, and it's easy to take apart and put together. All you have to do is zip it up or unzip it in this particular case, and it all just folds up into a nice, neat carrying case. The Porta Booth Plus, plus the Porta Booth Pro, which you see right here. The Porta Booth Pro, the bigger model, is $369.99. The Plus, $199.99. And the bag is on sale for $49.95, but you can get it in a combo for $248.95. Go over to voiceoveressentials.com right now and get your Porta Booth Plus or Pro. This is Ariana Ratner, and you're listening to Voice Over Body Shop, VOBS.TV. Hey, and we are back here on VoiceOver Body Shop. And uh, again, great talking to JMC. And But we have more fun to come up right now because joining us here in our little virtual studio is our good friend, Mark Cashman. Mark, welcome. Thank you so much for having me, gentlemen. And I do use that term loosely. All righty. Yes. <laughs> it, it goes both ways. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. especially yeah. when we get those calls at midnight, like the cleaning lady did something to something in my studio. Yes, yes. Well, You'll never forget that. I, 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 never. I, called, I called about that. Uh, I called Dan about that years ago, and, and, and he's never mm -hmm. let me live it down. But, That's right. but uh, fortunately, since then, I haven't touched anything, and nor has anyone else. It's because we put a giant piece of duct tape over everything. <laughs> Don't touch anything. Don't. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. anyway. Uh, you are author of the book V.O., which, yes. which I have read many times. Plus, I had heard all the stories before I even got a chance to read it. Uh -huh. uh, it's loaded with lots of anecdotes about how to do voiceover. What you do uh, when you coach people is you're, you're a director. You're, directing is something that we all have to do. Self-direction is very, very difficult. Uh, but when we get the opportunity to work with somebody else, you have to be directed. And, and mm -hmm. what does voiceover directing involve as opposed to somebody on the set saying, okay, action? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Where do I start? Well, at first the very all, beginning. I, yeah, I'll start at the beginning. And as they say in voice, in, in, in audiobooks, they start at the beginning and then go to the very end. But, but basically, when I'm directing somebody, it depends upon the situation. If I'm directing somebody in a session, I haven't worked with them before. I'm coming in as a director. They're coming in as a talent. I'm producing a particular spot, let's just say. But I've never worked with them before. I'm not expecting to do any instruction. I'm just expecting to do direction. I'm not there to instruct them. I'm not there to teach them anything. I'm there to get the spot done and get it done great and come out with something better than what we went in with and work with people on a collaborative basis. But my expectations are very simple. I'm expecting them to be professional. I'm expecting them to understand the script. I'm expecting them to understand the story. I'm expecting them to know what is going on. Now, part of it's already done because they wouldn't be in front of me if they didn't win the audition. Good point. They already went through the audition. They were picked, chosen, and now they're in the session. They were chosen for a reason that out of all the people who auditioned, that person was the best, considered the best, deemed the best. So I know at least going in that I'm expecting to work with somebody who's totally, <laughs> totally uh, uh, knows this script, unless the script has been changed drastically in the last 24 hours or which days does, or week. Which, which does happen. Which happens. Oh, no, it happens. There's no question about it. But, but Given the situation that, again, I'm working with somebody who 
has won the audition, ready to go. And so therefore, I'm expecting to work with somebody who is, first of all, going to be listening, not just to me, but to themselves. Two, that is going to at least have a sense of timing and pacing that they based their audition on as well. Commercial copy is the only copy that's timed. It's the only copy that's timed to the second. If we're working with commercials, if we're working with narration, don't have to worry. Audiobooks, don't have to worry. Animation, video game, don't have to worry about that. Only commercials do we have to worry about time. So then, obviously, what am I working with? I'm working with somebody who is going to get the job done quickly. I will know at the end of the first take whether or not this session is going to be long or short. I'll know within 30 or 60 seconds, <laughs> I'll be able to turn to my engineer and say, oh, this is going to be a short session. We're going to, we're going to be great. Or hold your, don't, don't make any lunch plans right now. We're going to be here for a while. Right. So, so with, that, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. That's it. That's it. Okay. But now, if I'm directing in a class, then it's a combination of directing, directing and instruction. It's both. They both go hat in hand. Uh -huh. And so I will direct students differently than I'll direct professionals only in the sense that when I'm directing a professional in a professional setting, that's, again, just direction. But the same direction that I give a professional in an actual session is the exact same direction I'll give a student because when they go into a session, I want them to know what to expect. Right. So when you, when you, you get a script, when say you, the director get a script and it's been cast mm -hmm. and you're looking at what's your process before you get to work with the actual talent? Well, I have to be as familiar with the story as the talent. In fact, I'm usually more familiar with the story because I'm usually working with the creative director or the copywriter or the, whoever it is who created the spot because they're looking at me. They want, they're asking me for help with casting, for uh, uh, acting, for timing, et cetera, et cetera. So they'll say, they'll, you know, uh, they'll say, can you eyeball this and let me know, is it okay? Is it good? Et cetera, et cetera. If, if they're good writers, then they'll, when they come to me, it's a collaborative process so that any suggestions I give them will will work and vice versa. So, so we'll look at timing. I'll, I'll say you got a couple of seconds to ad lib if you want on this particular thing. And, and, um, and, and then the most important thing, if, if whether it's a monologue, dialogue, trialogue, whatever you want to call it, the most important thing that I do in the first take or two is just listen. I want to listen to, well, I've, again, Either the agency has picked the talent, so I'm going to listen to the talent, how they deliver, how they phrase things, how they breathe, all those things, because I want them, I want to bring them, they're the star of the show. My job is to bring that talent out and to make that message resonate with listeners. That's my job. I'm a facilitator. I do not get in the way. So I always want to, I always look at every project that I work on as a collaborative one. I'm working with the engineer. I'm working with the talent. I'm working with the client. I'm working with the copywriter. I'm working with everybody to, so that we come out with something better than what we went in with. That's my overall production vision. Right. So when I get a script, I mean, when you book a gig, which is always a thrill, and it's always great getting an email from somebody saying, I actually booked something. You're like, mm. Fabulous. Uh, you know, and they send you the copy, which has probably been rewritten since you auditioned for it. It's like, well, this is totally different. And you look at it and you get an idea in your head how you want to do it. And then you go into a session and the director is like taking it off in another direction uh -huh. and it just totally throws you off. Yeah. How, how does one prepare knowing that they're going to be directed? Oh, well, that's, that's, that's what an actor is supposed to do. An actor is supposed to know how to change dance steps in mid-beat. To be able, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. This is a choreograph. You're basically doing what I call vocal choreography. All right. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is very, very simple. An actor is supposed to act and take direction. That's what actors do. All right. Okay. Yeah. So we come at it at a certain way. We make choices as all actors do. We make a choice. Just again, just imagine all these actors who come in and do on camera, forget off camera, on camera. They go in, they make a choice and the director says to them, 
you know, I think you got this all back ass words. I want you to come at it from this way. Now, any actor who is not malleable enough to go, oh, okay, and be able to roll with that is in the wrong business. Absolutely. Is that, that it comes down to that. That really is what it com- all comes down to. If you're not a, a ready to do a 180 like that, you're in the wrong business. No question about it. Now, quickly, what about audiobooks? Because I know you direct audiobooks. How is that a little bit different in how you do that? Well, yeah, because first of all, you just it's just a different sensibility and 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 you know, again a 30 second spot versus a, a 300 page audiobook uh, uh you have to have the patience of a saint and 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 you have to you know, put it, it, it set aside 20 or 30 hours to, to you know, to 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 to, uh, to do that. Um uh, an audiobook director is more than just a director. An audiobook director is an actual researcher. So if you're hired to direct an audiobook, you're also hired to research that audiobook and come up with an entire list of all the proper pronunciations of every single word that needs pronunciation in that book. So that will take you one or two days to prep before you even go in to direct. So, so anybody who, who says, oh, I'd love to direct audiobooks, that sounds like fun. Please understand what it comes with, <laughs> what comes with the territory, and that is research, going online, looking, I mean, and, and it's just a ton of online research. But we're talking about hours and hours of research to prep the talent if you're directing them. Then you have to be, have the manuscript in front of you, and you have to go, you have to listen to that manuscript, every single word of that manuscript, and follow along with that talent. And if they make a mistake, punch in, fix that, move on, and keep track of all, and record all the sessions and for the day. And it's, it's, uh, it's a big job. It's a very, it's a, it's very involved. All right. Now you and I have done this many, many times. Yeah. Whenever you come on the show, we we go through some scripts and stuff. Mm-hmm. What I what I really want you to do is really push me on on, on this. We've got two scripts Ooh. here. Now people can't see them. I mean, I could I suppose I could share my screen here and maybe our director Sue could get it on there, but I don't think it's really necessary. We've got two scripts oh, here. I, I if you can, if you can get that PDF up on the screen and do a, sh- a screen share. Yeah. Um if you got that on your if you if you got that on your computer if you want to do a screen share we could definitely uh, we're do. not going to do that. Okay. Uh, so anyway, I'm just but, saying if you can. Uh, yeah, but well, but the okay. thing is is this is a an auditory medium. So yes, let's it is. let's let them hear the subtle difference. Absolutely, absolutely. But of course, seeing it would be if, 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 next time. We'll 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 plan for next time. Right. It's always good to see the copy too and see the direction. Right. Of course, you always say you know lift the words off the page there's no question about it that's for you the talent you the performer but for people who are listening in it's always much more of an educational experience when you've got that script and you can see what you as a talent are doing with the words on the page that's right. what the point is but that's okay all right we can well yeah okay where do we go first which one do you want me to do here we've got one here for bf let's Go- take a look. bf goodrich yeah, and one look for- at the golf smith let's okay. do golf smith. Golf okay smith. all right so so the direction on this uh, says golf smith, male, thirty-five to fifty-five. Um, okay, so okay, you're so you're a little over the the the, the age limit there, but that's okay. You you still sound like you're a good hail fifty-five. Mm-hmm. The, the only problem, a, a little problematic, but then again, it's acting. They want likable, somebody likable, right? So you're gonna really have to act there, Dan. Um, conversational, not arrogant. Again, you're gonna really have to act. And, 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 and introspective. Okay. All right. It says, so again, male 35 to 55, likable, conversational, not arrogant and introspective. Uh That's the direction. It's a 40 second spot. 40. 40. Right. So obviously they got a 20 second tag. We're not seeing. Right. All right. But it's about 40 seconds. Right. All right. And we're not about, it's 40. It says 40 colon 40. If it says 40, that's what you're, that's your target time. Yeah. All right. So let's take a look. Let's uh, jump into this. All right. Here. We'll just right? re- read through it once so you can hear what it is. There's also sound effects that go in here, but we'll ignore yes. those. Yes. Unless, unless you want to add them, be Mr. Foley over there. But... You know, no. Okay. Thank as, you. As millennials say, yeah, no. Okay. 
All right. So, all right. So this here, here you are. So here it is. So here it is. Okay. This is called Golf Smith. We'll call this Golf Smith One. Let's jump jump in this. Okay. Looks like you and golf are getting along. If this swing was your last swing on earth, people would write songs about it. No more swinging that telephone pole you called a driver. No, sir. Everything fits. Oh, man, look at Gary. He's so ticked that you're good. And the boss man is impressed. You feel better, you play better, but you don't think too hard, because you're about to kill it. Not yet. Hold on to the follow-through. Great. What's the point of doing it if you don't straight-up rock it? Now you can smirk. You should probably just quit your job and do this, like, all the time. Very nice, my friend. Very nice. Good first take on this one, Dan. 42. Easy. So you're in the pocket. You're in the pocket. So you shave off two seconds off your next read. All right. All right. Good, good, good. All right. So overall, I want to, I just want to talk to you about, I want you to make just a couple of adjustments on a couple of minor things, but overall, I loved your smile. I loved your smile. You're smiling through this. It means you're having a good time. Your smile is the promise of a good experience. That's what you got here. And that's what you gave it there. And you don't have to be a cowboy to say, it looks like you and golf are getting along. You don't have to be a cowboy to drop the G on getting. You could have done it at the end towards what's the point of doing it all, doing it all, not doing it all down toward the bottom. You see it down the bottom. I see it. Right. Doing it all. We can drop the G on doing right. We're not going to drop the G. Uh, we can even drop the, the, uh, 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 the G on swinging. No more swinging that telephone pole, which you did. You dropped the G. So you say you don't have to be a cowboy to drop your G's. All right. <laughs> but certain things we're not going to hear. Uh, uh, certain things we're not going to be dropping the g on depending upon what it is but in this particular case it works so that worked really well yeah way through it says and the boss man is impressed and on the page it has a hyphen between im and press they put a hyphen they hyphenated a word that doesn't really have a hyphen it's not a line break but they put the hyphen in there anyway you understood what that was that's the writer saying break up that word impressed impressed that's a deliberate thing the writer did you honored what the writer wrote thank you you're welcome. But you dropped a couple of words the writer wrote. And, and so I just want you to put them in. You said, what's the point of doing it instead of doing it all? Ah. You dropped the word all. If you don't just straight up rock it, you drop the word just. Just put it back in there. At the end, you should probably just quit your job and do this like all the time. Hit all for me. Put Hit all as opposed to time. Mark your copy. Mark your copy accordingly. Are you, are, have you, are you on a, you're on a screen. I'm on a screen, but I can do that. Okay. All right. I know. Huh? You, are you on a tablet where you can annotate? Uh, I can. Oh, okay. As long as you can mark your copy, that's the most important thing. If you can't mark your copy, you can't navigate through the copy. Your marks are navigational marks. Just like when you take out a boat on the water, speedboat, motorboat. You can only go where those navigational buoys are. If you don't, if you go past the buoys, you're going to founder the boat. Same thing with marking your copy. If you don't follow your marks, you're going to founder yourself. These marks are navigational marks. What's the point of doing it all if you don't just straight up rock it? Now you can smirk. You, could, you should probably just quit your job. You should probably just quit your job. You should probably, not probably, we're not an erudite English professor. You should probably just quit your job and do this like all the time. Let's relax, relax, probably. Whenever you're doing kind of first person type of a thing, we relax, probably. Corporate, probably. Talking to yourself, probably. Probably. Okay, right, exactly. That's how we talk, right. Now, that's, oh, midway through, third or third of the way down. Hold on the follow through. See that line, hold on the follow through? Yep. Yeah, what are you doing? Ah, see what you just did with your hands? That's exactly what I want you to do with your hands. I want you to do with that with your hands. Hold on the follow through. No, no, no. Stretch that word out. Stretch that word out. Stretch out, hold. hold Add extra L's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold, hold, hold. No, hold means don't go. Hold means get ready. Hold means get it up there. That's what you're addressing the ball right there. Hold on the follow through. Get extra L's in there. I call it taffy pulling. Taffy pulling, you're stretching out a word. Stretching out a word, just adding extra L's in there. Hold on the follow through. Got it. 
right? Okay. Now those are the little things. Those are the tiny things. Those are the tiny things that I need you to do. Now I need you to do a big thing. The big thing is I need you to look at the direction. What's the last word of the direction? What's it say? Introspective. What does that mean? It means you're sort of talking to yourself. Sort of? It means you are talking to yourself. And you talk to yourself out loud all the time? Occasionally. No, <laughs> no, no, you don't. You really don't. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you say, what the heck am I doing? And, you know, you just do. But most of the time, most of the time when we talk to ourselves, we don't talk to ourselves out loud. Because if we do, people are going to think we're off our meds. When we talk to ourselves, we talk to ourselves quietly. quietly we right. talk to ourselves the voice in our head. This is the voice in your head. That's what I want to talk to you about now. Dan and I were talking about, what are we going to talk about tonight? And I said, we're going to talk about projection. We're going to talk about volume. When we speak, when we speak, when we use our natural voices, what David Lawrence in 17 calls our core natural voice, or sometimes people refer to your signature voice. It's the voice that you don't even have to think about. It's the voice you speak to your wife, your spouse, your friends, your kids, if you have any, your neighbors, your friends, if you have any, your clients, if you have any. That's the voice you have. That's the voice you speak. This is my 100% voice. Dan is speaking in his 100% voice. George is speaking in his. Our natural voice, our core natural voice is our 100% voice. We don't even have to think about that. But there are certain times during the day when we use different parts of our voice, where we use different fractions of our voice. I want to go through those fractions real quick. Here's the first one. The first one's what I call the 10% voice. The 10% voice is a whisper. But the thing is, you never hear a whisper. You never hear a whisper on radio or TV because there's no projection, right? No projection at all. But the next step up is what I call the 25% voice. That's the stage whisper. The stage whisper. Dan, you're ready to go out on stage. You're ready to go out on stage. I'm standing in the wings behind you. And I say, Dan, Dan, don't go out there. There's toilet paper on your shoe. What? Stage whisper. Stage <laughs> whisper. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have a backyard, right? You have a backyard. Yep. Imagine looking out the backyard and seeing a little Disney tableau. You got a deer, a bunny, a rabbit, a squirrel, a skunk, and, 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 and a bird. And they're all having a little convention out there. And you call your wife over and you go, hey, look. There's a there's like a Disney scene out here. Stage whisper, 25%. Next step up is what I call the 50% voice. The 50% voice is the talking to yourself voice. The talking to yourself voice is very, very quiet. It's the voice inside your head. It's the voice you don't want anybody to hear. It's the voice you don't want anyone to hear. Yeah. It's a voice that's barely audible. You can still hear me. You can still hear my voice. This is the Elmer Fudd, be very, very quiet voice. Be very, very quiet. This is the voice, the under subtext is don't wake the baby. Don't wake the baby. You could stand over a baby's crib and have a conversation with somebody standing right over them and not wake the baby. Do you hear how quiet my voice is? Mm -hmm. This is 50% voice. This is the voice inside your head. This is the voice, the angel and the devil on your shoulder, Dan. Do it, Dan. Do it. No, Dan, don't do it. Dan, do it. Really, do it, Dan. No, Dan, don't do it. Don't do it at all. This is the voice <laughs> inside your head. Okay? This is the voice of the 50% voice. The 50% voice. Your wife sends you to the store with a list of stuff to get. You're going to walk down the aisle. Are you going to, and you can't read something. And you say, are you going to walk down the aisle and say, okay, let me see, bread, eggs, milk. What does it say? No, because then you're going to hear crazy person on aisle five. Right. So, so you, you're, so that list, you're going to walk, you're going to talk to yourself and say, what does it say? Bread, milk, what? I can't even read this. Now you're mumbling. You're mumbling to yourself. You're talking to yourself. Somebody six feet behind you hears you mumbling, but they can't hear what you're saying because this is the voice you don't want anybody to hear. This is your private thoughts. Don't let anyone hear your thoughts. This is your talking to yourself voice. Now, 50%. Okay. This is my 50% voice. This is my 100% voice. So what's in between? Ah. 
There's something in between. It's called the 75% voice, what I call the 75% voice, and that is the intimate voice. And there's something in between. So here's the 75% voice. You're going to help me do it. So Dan, pre-2020 BC, before COVID, all right, so we're going to shake hands. Let's shake hands. Hey. Let's shake hands. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Good. Nice to meet you, Dan. Nice to nice meet to you, too. How you doing? Pleasure meeting you. Now, Dan, there's five feet between us. Your hand's extended. You're on. Keep that hand going. Come on. Keep that hand up there. Your hand's extended. My hand's extended. We got five feet between us. Our voice, my voice is covering that five feet. Your voice is covering that five feet. This is your 100% voice. All right. Now, right. now, let's come in for a hug. All right. So now come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Okay. Come in. There we go. So now I'm holding your right hand with your right hand. My left hand is behind your back. Mm -hmm. Your left hand is behind my back. We got a hug. This is a hug. This right. is my hug voice right. right here, Dan. Dan, this is a good hug, Dan. Yeah. I'm so glad I can hug you now. Always this is a good, good hug. Yeah. Now, if you don't mind, Dan, let's let's step back and, and shake. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Nice to hey, see you again. How you doing? All right. This is so. This is your 100 percent voice. Come in for a hug. Come in for a hug. Yeah. Come in for a hug. How you and doing? this is your 75 yeah. percent voice. Okay. Yeah. okay? Right. Your intimate voice. I'm going to give you another analogy. Very simple. You wake up in the morning next to your wife. Your wife is only a foot or so away from you in bed. Are you going to wake up in the morning and look at her and go, "I had a great time last night." <laughs> No, you're going to jump out of bed, okay? You're going to look at her and say, I had a great time last night. I had a really great time last night. You're only, you're right next to each other. This is your intimate voice, your 75% voice. And it's All not right? a whisper. And it's not a whisper. No, there's, there's no projection with a whisper. There's no projection with a whisper. No projection whatsoever. Get inside your head. Get inside your head. Here we go. You're, you're, you're addressing the ball. You're standing at the tee. You're thinking to yourself. You're looking at your boss. You're looking at your coworker, Gary. Don't let him hear what you're thinking. Don't let him hear what you're thinking. They'll only see you smirk, Dan. They'll only see you smirk. Go ahead, address that ball. Now think out loud. Here we go. And we'll call this Golf Smith 2. Well, it looks like you and golf are getting along. If this swing was your last swing on earth, people would write songs about it. No more swinging that telephone, Paul, you called a driver. No, sir, everything fits. Oh, man, look at Gary. He's so ticked that you're good. And the boss man is impressed. You feel better. You play better. But don't think too hard, because you're about to kill it. Not yet. Hold on the follow-through. Great. What's the point in doing it all if you don't just straight up rock it? Now you can smirk. You should probably just quit your job and do this, like, all the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that came out to just hey, man. a little 40, 40 and a half. Absolutely. So we got a little loud. That, that one place, I said, shh, 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 shh. We just got a little loud. Okay. But overall, overall, you got that talking to yourself voice. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Not every spot you do needs to be your 100% voice. Look at B.F. Goodrich. Look at B.F. Goodrich. Let's look at B.F. Goodrich. Goodrich. The direction says on B.F. Goodrich, male or female, good energy. That's all it says. Good energy. All right. All right. That's all. That's all it says. Good energy. Let's try one. Let's jump into this. And we're going to call this a B.F. Goodrich one. Okay. That's the actual sound of a B.F. Goodrich G-Force tire setting another new record for street tire performance. And this is the sound of happy customers who just found out that if you buy a set of the world's hottest street tires, you get $50 off an alignment that'll help your tires last longer and your vehicle tracks straight as a laser. So get a great deal on the world's hottest street tires, BF Goodrich G-Force tires. Don't put it off. You know what mom said about procrastination. Beautiful. Nice, nice, great first take on this one, Dan. Really, really nice one. Time-wise, 32 we need to shave off three, bring it in 29. We don't need to take the beats for the sound effects. It's going to be underneath. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So to get in, stuff, get in touch with your inner stopwatch, shave off three seconds. Oh, that's another thing you asked me at the beginning. What, do, what, uh, what, what am I expecting? I'm expecting the, the talent to be, have an inner stopwatch. That's what I'm expecting. 
So when I tell a talent that was 32 and a half, we need to be at 29 and a half. You've got to shave off three seconds on the next take or at least get close to it. Then I'll know if you're in touch with your inner stopwatch. Right. And you've actually got less than 30 seconds because there's probably a good That's exactly right. two and a half, yeah. three seconds of, of, of no, sound No, no, no. It's going to be all underneath. It's okay. going to be all underneath. They're going to fly this stuff all underneath. Vir- virtually, maybe, have maybe a half second established with the car with the sound effects up at the top. And that's what I want to talk to you about. Mm-hmm. The sound effects up at the top. Dan, what's it say? Car burning rubber. Well, where are you? Where are you? Do you have any idea where you are? Dodging some street rally. <laughs> No, no, seriously, well, yeah, no. but seriously, in this spot, in this story, do you know where you are? Are you in the car? That's what I wonder. No, no. doesn't say you're in the car. Right. Where do you have any we? idea where you are? You don't know where you are. It, where, it, it doesn't really clear. It's not clear where it you are. It says car burning rubber. Oh. And then it says, it says GF, BF Goodrich is setting another new record for street tire performance. And then we got our, our, our cheering. We have a, a whole stadium. Where are we? Do you, do you oh, have any idea? oh, we're at a racetrack. We're at a racetrack. Absolutely. We're at a racetrack. Who are you in this story? I'm someone in the stands watching. No, yeah, someone I'm... in the stands watching. How could you be watching? You're telling a story about BF Goodrich. How could you be watching this? That doesn't make sense. Of course it does. No. Uh... <laughs> Dan, Dan yeah. who, do you know who you are in this story? Do you know who you are? Uh, I'm in a, I really don't. You don't. That's okay. Most people don't. They have no idea. You know, this is the one of the things that I re- recently did a workout session, listened to a whole bunch of auditions on the WOW workout. And the one thing that I kept hearing over and over again, two things I kept hearing over and over again. One is people reading, not acting, just reading words. And two, people having absolutely no effing clues to where they were <laughs> or who they were. So that, that, that so basically, uh, 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 it's it's amazing. I'm still hearing so much what I call voiceover as opposed to voice acting. So we're going to get into acting here. Let's find out where you are. You're at a racetrack, but do you know who you are? You don't know who you are. You're 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 the what we'll call the on air talent. You are a reporter from the local radio or TV station. You are on the scene with a microphone. You could be there live with a microphone, or you could be a microphone and a camera in front of your face. You are live at the scene. Here we are. That's the actual sound of BF Goodrich G Force tires in the background. You hear that sound? Well, now we're not using our regular voice. We're not using our full regular 100% voice. We're using our 125% voice. Because we've got to be heard over the din of two things. The car's squealing, the rubber's burning, and the chair and the crowd's screaming. All right. So we go now from our 75% voice, our intimate voice, or I mean our our, our 50% voice, our thinking to ourselves voice. Now we're going to project into the next room. Now we've got to project over the din of the noise behind us. George, you watching the levels? Yeah, man. Well, I got so much processing on this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. live streaming everybody. Not, absolutely, not absolutely. So, all right. Okay. So we got our our sound effects coming out, and you're going to be doing. You're going to be talking over the din of this of of all this noise. You have to be at 125 percent right from the get go. All righty. Here we go. We're going to call this BF Goodrich Two. All right. That's the actual sound of BF Goodrich G-Force tires setting another record for street tire performance. And this is the sound of happy customers who just found out that if you buy a set of the world's hottest street tires, you get $50 off an alignment that'll help your tires last longer and your vehicle tracks straight as a laser. So get a great deal on the world's hottest street tires, BF Goodrich G-Force tires. Don't put it off. You know what mom said about procrastination. There you go. And time-wise, we came out to 28 and a half. So you went from 32 and a half to 28 and a half, meaning you got an extra second to play with. All right, so now I want you to do me one more. Give me one more, Dan. All right. And I want you to take that gruffness out of your voice. If you can, I want you to take that texture out of your voice and just give me a, just a smoother, younger Dan. That's the actual sound of BF Goodrich G-Force Tire setting another new record. Put the word new back in. Right. Another new record for street tire performance. Let's just get a little younger, a little clearer. All right. Here we go. And we're going to call this take three. All right. That's the actual sound of BF Goodrich G-Force Tire setting another new record for street tire performance. I'm going to stop you. And the only reason I'm going to stop you is two things. First of all, you're not going to be able to sustain that kind of energy all the way through 
right from the beginning. If you start too high, Dan, you got nowhere to go but down. You're going to be exhausted by the time you get to the end of that spot. If you start right there. <laughs> All right. Build up, it, Dan. Build up to it, my friend. Build up to it. Don't forget the word, first word is italicized. I'm not hearing you nail that first word. I'm not hearing you emphasize that first word. What are we? There are only two words. There are only two words that are italicized. What are they? That That's and, and this. this. That and this. So whenever you see a word that's treated, don't forget, lean on it, hold on to it. That's what the writer wants you to do. Honor what the writer said. That's the actual sound of B.F. Goodrich. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. And this is the sound of, okay? All right. right. Okay. We okay. got Here we, go. we got time for one more take here. So That's it. And we're going to do it. And we're going to call this take four. That's the actual sound of B.F. Goodrich G-Force. Now, now we're going to do take five because you're not talking over the din of the cars. Oh. I didn't hear you talk over the din of the cars. That's the actual sound of B.F. Goodrich. Mm. But stay in your mid-range. Stay in your mid-range. All right. Give you, give you some room to move. Six. That's the actual sound of B.F. Goodrich G-Force tires setting another new record for a street tire, tire performance. And this is the sound of happy customers who just found out that if you buy a set of the world's hottest street tires, you get $50 off an alignment that'll help your tires last longer and your vehicle tracks straight as a laser. So get a great deal on the world's hottest street tires, BF Goodrich G-Force tires. Don't put it off. You know what mom said about procrastination. Very nice, my friend, and 28 and change as well. Good. You're in the ballpark. You did great. All right. Mark, you did great. Yeah. Mark. That's that's volume. That's projection. Just to understand that everything you do, not everything you do, is just your normal voice. If only know the story. Absolutely. If only I could get hired for those types of spots. If only ah. we saw more of those. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, Marks, thanks so much for joining us tonight and pleasure. and for for going over this and hopefully people get something out of it and yeah. will take it into their next session. Based yeah. on the chat room, they are. Oh, yes. people were like, this is huge. They were really happy to hear you. Outstanding. Oh, that's great. great. That's great. You know, and, and this is basically, this is what I do with, uh, with my students all around the world. Um, uh, again, I concentrate on voice acting, not voiceover. Right. And, and, and basically, anybody who wants to take their voice acting to the next level or understand the difference just between voiceover and voice acting, I always say, voiceover to me is 2.9% financing for 60 months on all vehicles in stock. There's no acting involved in that. Right. But if you want to be an actor, if you want to, if you want to call yourself a voice actor, then learn how to act. Outstanding. Mark, how can people get a hold of you if they would like to learn how to do this oh my God. from the master? There's just so much. I mean, if you Google my name, there's like it's 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 an embarrassing amount of information that comes up there. So, um, uh, Cashman Commercials uh, is my website, CashmanCommercials.com, and um, you can find me on any platform if you just Google my name, and you'll you'll be able to find me. You'll be able my Mark at CashmanCommercials.com, M-A-R-C. Uh, I'm the easiest person in the world to find All other right. than you and George. Absolutely. Mark, thanks for being with us. Thank you for inviting me. Mr. Uh, Whittem, thank you thanks, for Mark. inviting me. And, thank and thank you for, for decondomizing your... <laughs> <laughs> what, what, I, I know what you mean. Is the pop screen filter? Is the pop screen filter? I wish I invented the pop screen filter. I could retire on the royalties. The pop screen filter, it's all up here. Pop screen doesn't prevent plosives, doesn't prevent popping. It Anybody doesn't. who thinks that is, is absolutely nuts. It's a, a useless piece of equipment. You could use it as a fly swatter or something. Pop screen do you, filter. Do you see one here? No. You no, know, no, because you understand how to properly position a microphone. And what's really interesting is, unfortunately, uh, Mr. Collins uh, 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 had this huge thing, that's, pop you know, screen well, thing in front of them. That's, that's his thing. Anyway. I know, I know, I know. Right. But I always say, you know, line of sight, line of sight. Line of sight. All right. Mark, take care. My pleasure. Thanks. Thank you, gentlemen, so much. I really appreciate it. Stay well, stay safe, stay sane, and when you can, stay home. All right. All right. We'll be right back and wrap things up right after this. Hi, this is Bill Farmer, and you are watching Voice Over Body Shop. It's great. As a voice talent, you have to have a website. But what a hassle getting someone to do it for you. And when they finally do, they break or don't look right on mobile devices. They're not built for marketing and SEO. 
they're expensive. You have limited or no control. And it takes forever to get one built and go live. So what's the best way to get you online in no time? Go to voiceactorwebsites.com. Like our name implies, voiceactorwebsites.com just does websites for voice actors. We believe in creating fast, mobile-friendly, responsive, highly functional designs that are easy to read and easy to use. You have full control. No need to hire someone every time you want to make a change. And our upfront pricing means you know exactly what your costs are ahead of time. You can get your voiceover website going for as little as $700. So if you want your voice actor website without the hassle of complexity and dealing with too many options, go to voiceactorwebsites.com, where your VO website shouldn't be a pain in the you-know-what. Your dynamic voiceover career requires extra resources to keep moving ahead. Now there's one place where you can explore everything the voiceover industry has to offer. That place is voiceoverextra.com. Whether you're just exploring a voiceover career or a seasoned veteran ready to reach that next professional level, stay in touch with market trends, coaching, products and services, while avoiding scams and other pitfalls. Voiceover Extra has hundreds of articles, free resources and training that will save you time and help you succeed. Learn from the most respected talents, coaches, and industry insiders when you join the online sessions bringing you the most current information on topics like audiobooks, auditioning, casting, home studio setup and equipment, marketing, performance techniques, and much more. It's time to hit your one-stop daily resource for voiceover success. Sign up for a free subscription to newsletters and reports and get 14 bonus reports on how to ace the voiceover audition. It's all here at voiceoverextra.com. That's voiceoverxtra.com. Hey, everybody, this is the time of the show where we get to thank one of our longtime sponsors, that's Source Elements, the creators of Source Connect, Source Connect Now, Source Live, Source This, Source That. They have so many, <laughs> so many products. It's amazing. But the one that you really want to be concerned with and probably have already heard about at this point is Source Connect, which is a way to connect your studio to other studios all around the globe uh, with audio high quality audio, not the audio in your voice conferencing software, not that stuff. This is studio quality audio that they can record from their studio real time and capture you exactly the way you sound into your microphone. That's what studios crave. That's what engineers require. That's what they want. And this Source Connect software is the preeminent way to do it. They've been perfecting this software. It's been in use in production for over 15 years at this point. And trust me, if you don't have it by now, get yourself a 15-day free trial. Just head over to source-elements.com and get that trial set up and running. And get get going so you know how to use it when the time comes that they ask if you have Source Connect. Does that mean you have to buy it right now? No, not necessarily, but be ready. There's some setup involved. If you want to learn how to do it, there's also a little, a little page on my website at georgev.tech slash SC to, to learn how to get Source Connect up and running. But we appreciate their support. You better have it in your toolbox. Um, it's going to be one of those things that shows that you are a voice acting professional. We'll be right back right after this, and we'll wrap up the show. This is Anthony Mendez, and you're watching VoiceOver Body Show. Talking about what you know. Rambling. Okay, here we go. All right. We are back here on VoiceOver Body Shop, and thanks to uh, Mark Cashman for another great session uh, with VoiceOver. And I'm, it looks like everybody really enjoyed that. So uh, get a hold of Mark if you want coaching with him. So anyway, next week on the show, we've got Tech Talk number 38, 38 which we're going to do in just a couple of minutes. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and uh, we got donors, people who are donating to our show because they love the kind of content we're giving them. And who are our donors of the week? Yes, we got donors. Um, Michelle Blenker, Christopher Epperson. That's a new name. Philip Sapir. Yeah, it is. Uh, Trey Speaks for You, Trey Mosley, Shelly Avellino, Dominic Carlos, Natasha Marshuka, Brian Page, and Mr. George A. Whittem, my a dad. Yes. Uh, and Patty. Two more. Uh, three more. Another line. Three more. Sorry, yeah. I missed the other line. Also, there's Patty Gibbons, Diana Birdsall. Who was watching the show tonight? And Stephanie Sutherland. So thank you, one and all. Yeah. And just a clarification on on Natasha Marchevka. Marchevka. Ah, man, every week I say that wrong. 
That's Thank okay. You for the and, and it's noted by Miss Merchevka. She <laughs> deserves to have her name written, read correctly as a donor uh, right. to the show. Of course. I think so. All right. Well, thank you. yes, we also need to thank our amazing sponsors who bring you all this great content, like Harlan Hogan's VoiceOver Essentials, VoiceOver Extra, Source Elements, VOHeroes.com, VoiceActorWebsites.com. And JMC Demos. Our thanks to Jeff Holman in the chat room tonight and on Facebook. Our tremendous technical director, Sue Merlino, who does it without even being here. It's like magic. And Lee Thank P you, Sue. You're, yeah. yeah. And Lee Penny, simply for being Lee Penny. Well, that's going to do it for us this week. Stay tuned for Tech Talk. If you got questions, send them in. It's not an easy business. There's a lot to learn, but we're here to help you out. So. Be here every week. I'm Dan Leonard. I'm George Woodham. And this is voiceover. Body shop. Or VO. BS. See you in a bit.